Hey everyone, my name is Brian, I'm the 3D print creator and this is a laser engraver or laser cutter. Um, this video is all about this machine, uh, about what I like about it and <laughs> also what is very dangerous about it. So let's start. What you see here is the Neje Master 20 Watt. It's a 20 Watt laser, it's a diode laser. And uh, well, it's, it's capable of doing a lot. It's capable of engraving, as you can see here on the ornaments that I made or on the photo frame that I made. Uh, it's capable of cutting, as you can see here, for example. I made this uh, cut wood or I also made this one, as you can see over here, which was actually just a plain piece of wood. And uh, then I start cutting it and then you can bend it which is a nice way of, of woodworking. So yeah, I did a lot of nice things with this laser engraver. Now you have to know that you can pick this up in uh, three different types. There is a Neje uh, 3.5 watt laser, which is perfectly for engraving, but you can't really cut with it. There is a Neje uh, 7 watt uh, laser engraver that you can use for engraving and cutting, but it will be some mild cutting. And there is this 20 watt module, uh, which is perfectly fine for cutting, but not so very good for engraving, unless you engrave special materials, like I am doing at this very moment. Now, what I've done with it is I've been doing a lot of uh, wooden things, uh, which I engraved uh, or cut, and well, that worked out fine. But uh, what I'm doing now at this moment, is trying to engrave on like these aluminum emblems. Uh, these are uh, dog tags, for example. Uh, th this uh, what I'm having here in my hand is a dog tag. And well, these things are used to, to wear uh, for your dog. So you can put your name on it or you can put your phone number on it. So if your dog gets lost and someone finds him, then they can call you. Now, normally when you will uh, try to engrave aluminum, then you will have a problem with it because uh, the aluminum will reflect all the laser light back to the, to the environment. And therefore it won't work. So what I did, I used a whiteboard marker and I painted the surface of that uh, aluminum black. And with that black painted surface, uh, it's now able to uh, yeah, to get all the light in there and uh, transfer all the light into heat and that heat is what what is engraving that metal so we'll we'll see how it turns out but i know already with this dog tag that it worked so uh, i can show it here on the camera i think like here this is an engraved piece of metal and uh, well it works out fine So, yeah, this is what I've been doing here. And, uh, well, I think it's a very nice laser with a lot of safety issues. Uh, because, well, <laughs> of course, if you are going to, to work with a laser like this, this is very, very dangerous. Uh, if that laser light hits someone, so something else than what it's meant to, uh, then it can, yeah, it, it can create a fire. Uh, it can harm you. It can do all kinds of dangerous things. So yeah, there, there is a real hazard there. And therefore in the next episode, I'm going to enclose this thing. Uh, I'm going to make a box in which it will work, uh, which also has some handlers and some rulers. Uh, so it will be easier for me to place the, the, the parts that I'm going to engrave or cut. And also uh, it will have a camera so I can view from a remote distance what is happening in that box. And uh, I don't have to open the lid of that box to, to watch it. Now that will be a, f uh, a future video. So uh, I hope you will like this video. Uh, subscribe to the channel and click that bell notification because then you will be notified every time I make a new video and I, I'm going to make so much new videos. So thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye bye.